Good afternoon, everybody. It's Matrix here, and here is my recap for my small account challenge, December 10th. All right, so uh, let's pull in my PL right here, real quick. Today was, uh, was um, I don't know, it wasn't as great of a day as I wanted it to be, but because uh, I did have one bad trade, but uh, I, I'm going to go through that with you guys today. Uh, my starting uh, opening buying power here is at 13,677, and I basically end up at 13,719, but my tickets is at 24. So after commissions, I'm not really up that much here. And uh, here is the three trades that I took. I took three shorts. Um, loss on ATVI, which I shouldn't have because it was kind of like my main watch. But I'm going to go through uh, this trade here, the ATVI. And, and I actually know exactly how I managed to mess this up so bad. I mean, if it wasn't for this loss, the day would have been great. And this was actually my first trade on ATVI first. Um, so uh, it actually i didn't start off the day on a good note i ended up making like a comeback and i had to play the catch-up game so that in itself uh got me a little bit emotionally riled up so uh let's go through the three trades and the three tickers uh, i'm gonna start with atvi first okay i'm gonna bring in my tickets here real quick okay 24 tickets ATVI. Uh, here are the timestamps uh, going in an ascending order. I'm going to bring in the chart on ATVI here and uh, pull it up. Okay, so ATVI. Uh, my my thesis on ATVI. Actually, let me bring up this as well on the daily chart. My thesis on ATVI was that this stock was in kind of like a bear flag mode. And I was talking about how uh, last night in my watch list, it was gonna pop and drop. And I was watching uh, basically the 4850s area, I believe is what I wrote off. I, I didn't even mark that off in my notes. Like my conviction for ATVI to drop today and have a big leg down was very, uh, well, convicted. <laughs> and um, so I basically uh, took the trade kind of out the gates on this par parabolic push here. So let's move this daily chart out of the way again. Um, yeah, I believe yesterday I was looking kind of like at this level last night. Let's pull out this red line, this horizontal line. I was looking at the 4850s level let me see if i can change the color here and i was looking for a pop and drop into this resistance area my first thesis was right here at this line 40 48 dollar mark 47 80 mark i i think i talked about it last night in my in my watch list so this was what i was watching for let's change the color on that as well and then if it popped through the next the next uh, line I'll be watching is the 48 level and then the 4850s. So essentially, the whole trade was based around this. Uh, and at the morning in the open, I saw it pop right out of the gates and it started to go parabolic, right? So uh, parabolic is basically uh, a stock moving really fast up in speed, right? And I saw this come up, hit this... Uh, 47 80s area and then the very next candle i believe yeah at 932 as you can see uh this is where i hit it i basically saw the stock open a little bit under the top of the previous candle and it started dropping so i took the trade right away and i only took 50 shares okay and my risk was uh about the 48 level because um i was so far away i shorted at 47.71 I was risking 30 cents so I just took the trade and I was risking 30 cents so as it came down let's move this bubble over here so you can see the full candle as it came down here um, and made this wick I took this trade and I basically got faked out and uh, it bounced on me at the VWAP and then I 
I didn't freak out because my thesis was around the 48 level that I would stop out. So I'm like, okay, let's give it some time. And then the next candle opens a little bit higher and it started dropping again. So I'm like, oh, great, this is gold. Um, so I held it and the very next candle, it opened lower than the prior candle, but then it started squeezing. And I saw that the squeeze, um, everything kind of lined up for a long and that the stock was going to pop. So I got out here right at 48. I mean, we, we held the VWAP one twice and then I got faked out and then it started coming up and over the 48 level. So I basically stopped out right here, uh, right at 48. So I took my first loss here and then I was still watching ATVI. Finally, it topped out. Uh, after it broke through the 48, my next idea was to watch for a reject at this 48.50 mark, right? So I was still watching it and I saw it keep going up and I'm like, great, I'll probably get a chance if it gets close. So it kept going up and eventually it topped out and started coming down. And as this come down, I was thinking, oh shoot, it didn't get there. Uh, I probably missed the entry and basically FOMO got to me as this thing came down under the VWAP, tagged it, got rejected, and then sold off a little bit, came back up to the VWAP, tagged it again, and got rejected. So by this time, I'm going to move this bubble out of the way. By this time, when it tagged the VWAP the second time and got rejected, I basically got in short right here as it broke this previous green candles low. And that would be ticket right here at 950. And I got in at the average of 4796. Uh, once again, 50 shares. Bring the bubble back in, cover. Okay, so I rolled this down. And unfortunately, from this point on, I was looking at uh, the bigger picture trade. I didn't realize that it was going to bounce off here. It hasn't set a real low yet. And uh, I didn't mark off any support levels, right? The only support level I had marked off was the pre-market opening price line and the pre-market low. So my idea of taking this short right here was basically to bring it right back down to uh, yesterday's closing. I was thinking, oh great, this is happening. It's coming down. And then I saw one, two, three candle flush and I was pretty happy about it. And then it actually bounced on this 200 SMA here and when it did uh, I basically just gave it time and let it work but it didn't work as you can see it came back up to the VWAP it got rejected again and uh, I was still holding that 50 shares eventually uh, when I saw this VWAP um, got got rejected once twice three times and on the fourth time I'm like okay this thing is consolidate under the VWAP, it could just dump any time. And this is actually a good chance for me to add and uh, average up because I only had 50 shares and my conviction for this to die was huge, right? Since it slapped VWAP once, twice, three, four, five, six times, my conviction for it to die off the VWAP was huge. And I was very um, adamant on seeing this thing come down back to the test of opening and the lows here so I added in 50 shares right here at 10 o'clock to make my size now at 100 shares and my risk was a little bit above VWAP and uh, and the $48 mark the whole psychological number again so as it came down it bounced off and by this time on this low I already had this trend marked out and uh, I, I was watching this trend line and it bounced right off the trend line. Eventually it broke out of the VWAP. I didn't take it off right away, but it was looking really strong and I finally stopped out. Now looking at this again, um, essentially I should have waited for the next candle, right? I should have waited for the next candle to see what happens, but it was uh, a little over my uh, my comfort level of holding pain because my average was uh, basically around when I added here my average was basically around the 48 uh, sorry 47 80s or something like that so I was still losing um, 
So I basically got out of here. So that's the second trade, another losing trade, no problem. Next up, uh, once I saw this thing come down, I realized that I made the mistake. Um, I saw it come down under the VWAP again. And let's move this bubble out of the way. And I saw this trend line snap, right? This uptrend line snap. So I basically took the trade one more time. And this time I'm thinking, okay, I had two small little red trades earlier. This time it's gonna happen. It's looking bearish. Uh, the uptrend line snap as well. It came back under the VWAP. So I hammered it. I hit 200 shares of it. <laughs> I basically hammered max size on it. And uh, the next candle, I was, I was risking a little bit above the prior green as well. So when I took this trade, I was risking a little bit right here. Something along the lines of this, okay? When I took this third trade on it, and I shorted it max size, so I was uh, intent of seeing this work. And it slapped BWAP a few more times, eventually broke out on top, and then the next candle made a doji. It hit my stop loss a moment, but uh, I, I, learning from my mistake from the previous trade, I wanted to wait for the candle to settle and see what happens. And it made a doji candle, right? So uh, doji basically means nothing. I can still hold. So as I was holding it through, the next candle popped up and over. And it basically confirmed that it held the VWAP for me from here on out and I saw the 9 EMA, this red line coming up and scooping under it as well. That also uh, kind of confirmed that, okay, my trade is done, uh, it's not working, that's three red trades. So I basically just took it right off right here as it broke my stop, all right? So that's ATVI. Now scrolling out a little bit, I want you to take a look at ATVI. Um, Right now, ATVI is sitting at 46 and change here. Uh, so my thesis was so good. It basically snapped and uh, this uptrend line eventually snapped. Finally, I got faked out here, right? I got faked out twice here on this snap of the uptrend and uh, it is what it is. And then it made a lower high here on this candle. And as I was watching ATVI, I was wondering if I should get back in again too. Um, I was watching this pop up and run. I was thinking, okay, it's going to test the higher days. Uh, I was watching for it to reach here. And once it does, I was going to start in starter size. And I was waiting for this thing to parabolic up into the 4850s again. But it never reached. So it never gave me a chance to get in. All right, um, so uh, it started going without me. And by this time, after taking three losing trades on it, I was basically done and over with, right? I was like, ah, oh, forget about it. ATVI, chop day. That's what I was telling myself, chop day. And it just basically dumped. And it was very, my, my heart was broken watching this go down. But it is what it is, ATVI. That's the first trade of the day. Well, the first ticker of the day. Next up, we have Roku. So let me load up the Roku uh, drawings here. <clears throat> load it up. Okay, so this is the trade on Roku. And I want to bring up the daily chart first. Uh, the thesis on Roku was, uh, once again, I was looking for a pop and drop last night on my watch list, I said, uh, this has a bearish engulfing candle. If it snaps this area of 38, it should come down. And I was gonna watch and see it go to 36. Um, that was my thesis. I was looking for the next leg down. It was basically in consolidation mode. It started to break and it was kind of like a bear flag to me. All right, so that's the thesis on Roku. Bring back down the daily chart here. Now Roku, I got a little carried away here. Uh, this was actually all one trade, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tickets on one trade. And I got a little carried away um, coming into the chart here at 9.34 a.m. Uh, right 
here on this green candle. So let's move this bubble here. Might as well delete it. So right here on this green candle, I basically watched Roku pop out of the gates, got stuffed hard. And then the next candle tried again, got stuffed again. So now I have some levels marked off. I had uh, this level marked. You know what? Let's not use this horizontal line. I had this level marked off here. Okay. The 3825s. And uh, I saw this third candle stuff and it made a lower high. So I was looking for uh, uh, an entry here. Um, this was the entry candle, 934. So this exact entry right here um, with the VWAP playing in play as well. So I started in at 100 shares and I was looking at, uh, I was risking 38, I believe. Yeah, I was risking a little bit above the previous candle high. So I started in starter size. I was thinking, okay, VWAP slap, um, the next candle should come down and the VWAP should hold it down. This is where it rolls over. That's the thesis I was working on and I was looking for. However, unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. Uh, the next candle, let's move this bubble out of the way. The next candle opened a little higher, uh, got to the VWAP, but it stuffed the 50 EMA. So I added in some more right here. And I was trying to get my average as close to 38 as possible. So I started a little early, 37.65. And then as it popped, I, I got in again. Uh, it was under the VWAP again, so I was looking for this VWAP to come down on it. And uh, I added another 100 shares. And uh, the next few candles right here at the 9.37 a.m. mark, it popped up. It, uh, it opened. It started failing. And I added in one more time and I hammered it. Now I'm in 300 shares. I'm in big shares. And I was risking a little bit above 38. So uh, it popped up right away into 38. And I was sitting here and I was thinking, oh my Lord, what have I done? I'm adding to a loser. But my plan was still in play. My plan was these two risk areas. And yes, it did reach my stop out, but I wanted to wait and see what happens on the next candle. And the next candle popped up and sold off. So it was uh, on this pop-up, it was still under this uh, opening range of 38.25 here. So I held it a little bit. Uh, but by this time, I think I was down 100 and change. I, I quickly turned my head and looked over to my PNL. I was down about 100 and change. That got me a little riled up and it came down though. Uh, and that was good. As it came down, that was good. Uh, a few more candles later, it started coming down. But I was looking at my PNL. I was thinking about my fear when I saw this uh, minus a hundred and change. So from here on, when it came back down to my average area, I took half off at thirty-seven seventy. I took half off to mitigate my risk. And now this is actually where the trade starts. Okay, I saw it come down. Um, under the VWAP again. And after I took half off, this is where I started to manage my trade. And uh, as you can see, it held down on the VWAP, it held again. And uh, I saw kind of like a support level. And I was getting a little bit impatient because I basically saw this uh, green doji candle here hold, right? So as it stuffed, I paid myself a little bit like literally little bit. I paid myself 50 shares. I had 150 shares left. So I paid 50 shares. I took off uh, some, uh, um, I believe a 15 cent gain, which was nothing, like literally nothing. And then the next candle, I was watching it still go down. Eventually it came down to uh, the 3750s area right here. All right, this bubble right here. Just delete that. Came down to the 3750s area where I uh, where I took some more off, which is a nice half dollar area. Okay, and then uh, it now I have 50 shares and I was basically holding and waiting 
for this to snap and uh, watching for my thesis to work on the daily chart plan. And uh, it popped up, snapped some more. It came down to the whole number of 37. I covered another 25 shares. Now I have 25 shares left. Okay, basically the trade was pretty much done by here. I was up huge and uh, let's bring in the PNL again real quick. I was up huge. By this time I was up like uh, $60 or something or 65 and I had 25 shares left. Okay, um, so this 25 shares, I was uh, basically set a stop loss. Either I stop out at my uh, entry price which is, I, I actually got the average of about 37.70s. I was actually gonna stop out there. So I basically held this last 25 shares and I had this downtrend line drawn out already as I saw this come down. And basically it kept coming down. I was looking, oh yay, 36 coming. That's my uh, ideal target. I was thinking about it hitting 36, but it reversed and then it popped back up into the nine. Uh, the next candle, I really wanted to see what it does, and it basically reclaimed 37. Okay, it smoothed this candle out of the way. It opened here, it came down a little bit below 37, but then it started coming up again, and I saw how this downtrend line snapped. And as I said in previous recap, as long as the trend holds, you hold the stock, right? Or you hold the trade. But I saw this trend snap. Okay, I saw that it reclaimed 37. I saw that it got scooped by the 9 EMA as well, and it's a big reverse signal. So basically, this is where I got out right at 37, and this was basically the ideal out. I mean, sure, I could have gotten out here, but that would have that that wasn't realistic because it it was really looking like it's gonna come down, right? So if I hadn't gotten out. If I had got out here, I would have. It would have meant that I would have left a lot of money on the table. So this was the perfect exit area, in my opinion. How it broke the downtrend, how it reclaimed 37, how it got scooped by the 9 EMA, and uh, I was very happy about this trade, Roku. And this is basically the only trade I had on Roku, and I made fifty six dollars on it. Uh, eight tickets though, so that wasn't great. I mean, this kind of, uh, this ad, ad, ad is kind of like uh, how I I trade when I had, well, when I have my, or oh, when I'm in my student account. I still have that account, but I'm not trading that right now. But when I'm in my student account and I had a lot of buying power, um, the 100, 100, 100 ad, um, it's basically, the parabolic short setup that I use a lot. Okay, I basically wanted to get in early. I don't want to miss the move and I will add into it as long as it stays under my risk level according to my plan, which was, uh, which was this line, right? If, if I kept adding and it pops through, this is where I would stop out, right? Um, but that's my, my kind of takeaway on my, uh, on my how how I short like uh, parabolic shorts. That's my my plan, and this is how I usually trade. Now with a small account, uh, obviously using this kind of strategy of scaling in is uh, is difficult because the tickets add up and uh, the commissions add up, and my account is small. So ideally, if you're trading in a smaller account, um, this is not really the strategy you want to use, but Nonetheless, it was a good trade. It's one of the better strategies that I, I, I'm more comfortable you, with uh, using to short stocks. So it is what it is. I'm just doing something that I'm comfortable with. So that's Roku. <clears throat> and then finally, we have, uh, oh, let's take a look at Roku first. Here's the big picture on Roku. Where is it at right now? So eventually it popped out. I got out perfect. Then it went parabolic and then it had like a double top again. As I saw this come up, uh, I was looking at the 3850s again, but it never got there because had it gone to 3850s, I was going to start again, but it never got there and then it just dumped from there. And uh, it is what it is, but the thesis is working. 
So I really like that. There, there are a couple trades here. I mean, if you are a long bias trader, then you could have waited and watched this reversal come back up. And you would have had a nice trade here, right? Um, if I was just watching this ticker the whole day, I mean, there's a quick double top here. Let's zoom in. It's a quick double top here. Right. I think I would have seen this stuff candle and then this candle and then I would have probably took the trade right here as uh, this uptrend line snap. Let's mark the uptrend line again. Yeah, I, I, I think I would have took the trade right here on this candle if I was still watching it. And uh, I mean, look, look what it did right now. It's it's fantastic. There's a lot of gains come down. Anyways, Roku, it is what it is. Uh, and finally, the ticker AMD. Let's load that up. Load the drawings up real quick for you. Now, AMD, I I didn't trade it as well as I wanted to trade it. Um, basically, because I, during the morning here, I was trading Activision and Roku at the same time. So I was trying to do a little bit too much uh, in the morning here. And as AMD popped up in the morning, I saw this pop up. And uh, I was watching this candle. All right, uh, let's zoom in on this candle right here. I was watching AMD uh, from the side, from the corner of my eye, and watching the tape and the level two as well. And I saw this candle, right? Um, I saw it run up huge. I saw this candle stuff and I basically saw the tape turn. Now, what that means when I say I saw the tape turn, here's the tape. Basically, it had a bunch of greens and it was moving really fast. And then all of a sudden, I saw it kind of pause a little bit. And then I saw a few red prints happening. And uh, that's when the tape turned. Um, you really have to use a lot of screen time and experience to study the tape to watch it turn but I actually literally top ticked this candle right here and as you can see I got the average of 1993 and this candles high was 1995 so I top ticked this candle at 50 shares and I'm like golden I saw it uh, come down and I was looking for it to uh, reverse and come down into the the low of days, but I only started off with a 50 share size. So I, because it was so little of a size, um, I I could I I could afford to hold it, and my my risk was a little bit above twenty dollars right here. Okay, so that was my risk when I took this trade. So I basically held this. 50 shares and uh, I went on and played Activision and Roku as I was waiting for this to work, right? I basically left it alone and didn't watch it, just kept it on the corner of my eye and see if it uh, breaches that 20 and hold. So eventually it reached that 20 and when it did, I didn't stop out here. I wanted to watch for the next candle and see what it does. So the next candle opened pretty strong and green. So I stopped out on AMD on my first trade. So as you can see um, on my timestamp here on the tickets, when I took AMD, I was basically, I just left it alone and uh, I was trading ATVI and Roku, right? Um, where did I cover AMD? Yeah, right here, ATVI and Roku, I was playing. All the while, I was uh, I had AMD on, and uh, this is where I covered at twenty dollars and eleven cents. So that was unfortunate because I top ticked this candle. I saw the perfect reverse, but the stock held, so nothing I can do about that. I stuck to my plan. It was a good trade. Okay, so another losing trade on AMD. Scroll out a little bit, and <laughs> when I saw this come down, this was. Wow, heartbreaking. Once again, this came down hard. But uh, by this time, I was already in Roku and ATVI. I was paying attention. I think I was trying to manage Roku because I had massive size. So I couldn't pay attention to this. This is a prime example of uh, trying to do something, uh, doing too much at once, right? So it came down, it popped back up, and there was a perfect double top entry right here uh, that I missed. 
Okay. I basically missed this double top entry and that was saddening. So it came down again and flushed and I saw this uh, VWAP snap. Okay, finally the stock snap VWAP. Again, I saw this little bit of consolidation happen as it snapped, excuse me. As it snapped, I'm thinking, okay, I'm not missing this move again. So I jammed it. I jammed it huge for 400 shares, max size at 1978. And as you can see, because of my sizing, uh, I got kind of emotional here. But the, it, and it, in retrospect, the reason I jammed it was because I was, uh, I was emotional, right? I saw it. I saw myself missing out this double top, and I did see a clear risk here that I would have stopped out. I had, I did my calculations. I had about a ten cent risk. By this time, I was at about break even on the day on my PNL. So uh, I was risking about ten to twelve cents on four hundred shares, about forty, forty, forty five dollars. I was at break even, right? I was only losing on the commissions and uh, risking 40, 45 bucks on one trade. That's fine. So I jammed it 400 shares and I was risking a little bit above. I saw it broke down VWAP and basically this candle confirmed it. My average wasn't good though. As it flushed, uh, I paid myself on a 10 cents move, which was a quick scalp. Um, I also had the idea of scalping as well and I already knew that I was going to scalp this because I saw the support line here in the morning uh, right here, right? So uh, once I got that 10 cents, I paid myself 300 shares off that to mitigate my risk, downsize, hit a quick $30, so nice gain. As it came back up and down, I saw it reject. Uh, I had 100 shares left, and by this time, I was thinking uh, I would um, I would basically just hold it or let it stop me out. And eventually, uh, the stock reversed right here. I saw this big, massive green candle come up. It was a reversal signal, popped right into the 90 MA. I was I had this downtrend line drawn out already. And the next candle, I was going to wait and see what happens. It popped up and over, broke this downtrend line. Okay. And then I was still green on the trade, right? I was still sitting good because my entry, entry price was right here. My entry price was right here, right? So I basically uh, just held this 100 shares. And then the very next candle, it popped fast and it got right back into my, uh, entry price okay so here are a few ingredients here it snapped out of the it broke out of the downtrend the 90 ma got scooped it was a reverse signal and basically it hit my entry price so i wasn't going to turn this winning trade into a red one i stopped out or i cut it off and uh i made a nice 30 bucks on it and uh it is what it is okay nice scalp trade and finally, the next one, as I was watching this again, uh, I saw how it rejected this prior risk level I, that I, I had marked out when I entered short and uh, it came down. Um, I contemplated taking it here, but I wanted a little bit of confirmation. So, uh, hold on, excuse me, my phone's ringing. I'm going to pause the recording real quick. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Coming back to the recording. So um, I was saying I saw this candle pop up into my previous risk level. I really wanted to take it here, but I wanted to wait for one more candle to confirm. And the next candle opened flat. I should have took it right away, but I didn't because uh, it was still holding a little bit above the VWAP. So I wanted to see if it would hold this VWAP and bounce on me. Uh, essentially, it snapped through, right? And it snapped through literally everything. So let's scroll in a little bit. This candle snapped through everything as this wick came down under the screen candle here. I took the trade. I took the trade short. And I took 200 shares of it, right? Right back at my previous trade entry price, 1977, 1978. And once again, I was, uh, I was risking this level. 
once again. And I was also thinking about the VWAP a lot when I took this trade. I was thinking a lot about the VWAP and I was also thinking about maybe I would stop out here. So a lot of maybes, I wasn't too sure on where I was gonna stop out. This here, this level, I was gonna stop out of this for sure if it reclaimed, right? But these two levels were a potential stop out. So I took the 200 shares. As it came down, once again, once it got down to the prior support area, I paid myself at the 10 cent level, I took half off. And then as it come down some more at 19.50, which is a nice psychological uh, round number here. I paid myself another half, 50 shares. And then it came down, the last 50 shares, I basically just held it and it came down and it started to reverse on me, okay? And then uh, where was I gonna stop out this last 50 shares? Basically, I was gonna stop out uh, if it reclaimed this 1950, uh, held strong and uh, I was gonna stop out. So that's what it did. It popped through 1950. The next candle I waited, it held, and then the next candle, let's move this bubble out of the way, it opened up green. So I was thinking, okay, it held the 1950 area, it opened up green, I'm gonna get out. I'm not gonna make this into a losing trade or turn this into a losing trade. So I got out and uh, of course, once I got out, this thing snaps. But I had this uptrend line drawn out so it snapped it is what it is now looking at the brick picture here on amd that was the trade by the way so that was it i got in a nice 22 cents on it right um that was uh basically it and i think i got out good because eventually it reversed right back up right and look where it tapped out once again Around this area, I have all these areas marked off, right? And it sold off again, sold off. Now AMD is just ranging, chopping sideways. We are into lunchtime. So that's it for my trade recap. Here is the PL once again. Here are all your tickets. I mean, if you want to study or taking uh, looking back on your own chart and take a look at what I did and try to go through the emotional thinkings and psychology of uh, how I traded today. You can take a screen share here on this and plot it right back onto your own chart right during your own study time. And there's my PNL. Um, tomorrow, it, it wasn't a great day. I'm, I'm a little bit fed up today about uh, how I traded, especially on ATVI. I mean, had ATVI gone well, it would have been a great day. But uh, there were a lot of tickets and uh, the commission's gonna eat me up today. I probably, I'm probably only up twenty dollars, right? Uh, and also, one more thing I want to say is, um, today was kind of like a, I, I'm standing right on the very thin edge of finding that balance between confidence and recklessness, right? As you can see, it showed through my trades. Um, taking 400 share size here, adding into a max size on Roku. That's uh, the, the very typical balance, like standing on the, on the, on the wire of uh, holding conviction and uh, getting reckless here. And um, personally, I think this is the big fight I'm coming into right now. Uh, I need to get over this mental hurdle. Um, it's not a good thing. It's, I'm in my mind, I think I'm trying to rush it a little bit, but then my conviction was very good and my daily chart thesis was good as well. Right. And we are coming into the market conditions where I excel at. I like shorting stocks. I'm comfortable with shorting stocks. Right. So I need to, uh, do a little bit more thinking today and uh, see and, and really look back on these few trades for the past couple of days. But all in all, it is, um, it is a fourth green day in a row. Um, the struggle is real mentally, psychologically, 
And uh, I hope you guys enjoy what you watch. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Thank you.